Hello, and let me tell you a little bit about religious studies here at Priestley School and why you should choose religious studies. So as you saw at the beginning of this presentation, we look at the big questions. Does God exist? How should we treat criminals? Is one life more deserving than another? How did life begin? And what is the purpose of life? Religion and beliefs inform our values and are reflected in what we say and how we behave. Religious studies provokes challenging questions about the ultimate meaning and the purpose of life. Beliefs about God, the self and the nature of reality. Issues of right and wrong and what it means to be humans. So RS developed students' knowledge and understanding of the nature of religion and belief. Over the course, students will learn to articulate their own beliefs, values and practices in comparison to a variety of religious and non-religious views. The course offers opportunities for personal reflection as well as rigorous academic study. In addition to enhancing the student's awareness and understanding of religions and beliefs, teachings, practices, and how they are expressed. We also explore the influence of religion on individuals, families, communities, and culture. RS challenges the students to reflect on, consider, and analyze and interpret issues of truth, belief, faith, and ethics. It also helps them develop in how they can best communicate their responses. So we studied two religions with a comparison of Christianity and Buddhism. And we also bring in elements of humanist ideas. We choose four ethical themes from a variety of points of view from the following five units. Relationships and families, looking at marriage and sexuality, life, for example, looking at the origins of universe, abortion, euthanasia, and animal rights. Peace and conflict, looking at the issues of war and nuclear weapons, pacifism, terrorism, and whether it's good to forgive. Crime and punishment, for example, the aims of punishment, prisons, the death penalty, alternative punishments, and the whole idea of do we forgive those who trespass against us? And then an additional unit we may look at over the three years is the existence of God. For example, does God exist? Why is there evil in the world? The assessment takes the form of two examinations, both of one hour, 45 minutes duration. There is no centrally examined coursework. Paper one is about the religion studied. So we look at the paper about Christianity and a paper on Buddhism. And the second paper is about the ethical themes that we study, which I've just gone through. Both papers follow the same format of four sections divided into questions worth one, two, four, five, and 12 marks. As the exam section goes on, the questions ask you for more detail, evaluation, and analysis. The short questions require an understanding of our key terms and ideas. And 50% of the marks are assessed in the 12 mark essay questions based on the ability to analyze and evaluate statements and consider a range of views. To be able to take apart an argument and give your own ideas and conclusion. The course leads to many opportunities beyond Priestlands. It's helpful for so many careers which involve working with people to look at how other people think, believe, feel, and what they do in their lives and how religion impacts on it. But it also is really important in the legal services, teaching, social work, careers in medicine, journalism, youth work, in the civil service, the armed forces, and charitable work. RE is a key to so many different careers. If you want to have more information, please don't hesitate to ask your RE teacher or your ethics teacher. And we're always here to give so much more advice on what you can do with RE in the future. So 
Overall, religious studies is a subject that will stretch you, challenge you, get you to think about your preconceived ideas and the ideas of others. So if you like thinking and you like arguing, religious studies is the subject for you. Thank you for listening.